And uh, one of the first things he said to me after we got back in from the first EVA was that I was right, and that he now knew why I kept hustling them for six months before the flight to get every task done just as fast as we could do it down here. And we just barely did hang on our timeline. Well, it's that, and uh, of course, as you mentioned earlier, adding on as much as you can to get more work per unit man, and they're, they're finding it out this time. Yeah, well, I think you got to be careful here, too. This geo phone and change, you, they, they expected that the phone might fail and they'd have to stop and change, and, and really, we had less sophisticated equipment to work with than they're working with, and, and I think we have to expect that, that you're going to run into delays, and uh, I noticed that the S-band antenna didn't deploy quite correctly uh, this time. You know, uh, if it pops out all the way, mine jumped about three feet off the ground or off the lunar surface up there. And I, I was saying I was waiting for it to hop in the air, and it didn't do it. And I could see that it hadn't deployed quite correctly, and then it had to come over. Each one of these things adds a little little delta time on there, and uh, perhaps they'll get to a place here where they can make up some of it. It really isn't too critical if they uh, miss some of the rocks on this first walk. If they uh, get the full uh, second walk in tomorrow, uh, the only thing that would be a difficulty is if they uh, couldn't get the rocks today and then something occurred that they had to lift off early and they would have missed uh, the rock collection. CBS News color coverage of today's walk on the moon will continue in a moment. Back on the... Back on the surface of the moon. Still working with this uh, okay. thumper. Okay, come on, Igniter 15. Al, this is Houston. Uh, we need to have you stand still again. This is 15 okay. of 21 uh, test firings be picked up and, by the geophones uh, to I test the moon surface. I showed you ought to be on your Igniter number 14, Ed, unless that was the uh, one you last used. Some evidence that Ed Mitchell, this 40-year-old Navy commander, uh, the lunar module pilot, uh, who is, as a, by his own admission, a perfectionist, is getting a little bit annoyed uh, with uh, problems with the thumper. No uh, Let me try one more, Bruce. There, there is another one that has not fired. He's had several uh, problems, uh, several times that has not fired. Uh, the geophones and the ground have pulled out. He's having a lot of trouble with this experiment. And a moment ago, he said, uh, I was going to break it in half if I didn't fire on that no one fire. when he got in a series of no okay, fires. Roger, move on. Uh, during one of the training sessions here on Earth, a piece of equipment failed, and uh, everybody uh, among the space people watching the uh, test were startled to see Mitchell pick it up and break it over his knee like a uh, golfer with an uh, errant golf club. So when he said he thought he was going to break this one in half, they might have taken him seriously there on Earth.
collection experiments, setting up the mortar package and rock collection. Uh, after setting up the uh, mortar, mortar package and activating the safety switch on it, uh, they would have had uh, just about an hour uh, before they had to button up the cabin at the end of this, uh, uh, of this first walk. They're not going to have anything like that, uh, apparently. Uh, they have to button up by 2.27 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's now uh, 1.32 Eastern Standard Time. And they uh, are still working with this uh, thumper experiment. Roger, Ed. In fact, they've got about uh, four more of them uh, to fire before they can move on to something else. It takes 20 seconds for each. So uh, we've got a couple more minutes of this at the best. Immediately after this, uh, Shepard is supposed to scratch out a 10-foot square uh, and collect as many half-inch diameter rocks as possible from within the square and uh, collect a nine-pound uh, soil sample from the same area. That's the first, uh, other than the contingent experiments, uh, the contingent rock collection, which they gathered as soon as they got on the surface. Mitchell did. Be sure they had some rocks they had to lift off uh, hastily. Well, this will be the first uh, set of rocks to be collected since that time. They have a little scale right there on the uh, rickshaw cart that they're pulling behind them. They've got a little scale on there that he can exactly measure this nine pounds of soil. And from there, they Five, Mitchell activates four, the safety three, switch on the mortar, two, mortar package. Five, uh, both crewmen then walk over to double it. That's the, uh, there's two superimposed small craters to collect documented samples around uh, doublet. Bruce is Bruce McCandless, the capsule communicator and astronaut in Houston, Manned Space Center. here, of course, is the fact you didn't fire flight hardware before, and that, that uh, is one of the right places you cut back a little bit. Oh, I wouldn't <laughs> want you to shut those off. Thank you. Okay, go ahead with the last shot, Ed. CBI 
CBS News color coverage of today's walk on the moon will continue in a moment. Big leg stuff. Yeah, fine. Back on the moon yeah. with uh, astronauts Shepard and Mitchell. Let's listen in. Well, Pap, I think we probably had a little change in strategy here. This is Houston uh, with a uh, one-half hour extension. You have 18 minutes until you have to be back at the Mesa. 18 minutes and uh, three zero extension is what we have. Is that correct? That's Roger. You are three hours and 56 minutes into the EVA at this time. Okay, in that case, then... Uh the motor package at this time before we leave. We'll proceed back along our track, getting geology on the way. Roger, we concur. Hey, if you wait a minute, I'll come over and help you with that thing, yeah? Okay, Houston, did you copy that uh, switch number five is clockwise and safe? Roger, I now copy switch five clockwise and safe.
just to the inner ring. And I'm going to arm it down. It's pointed almost, uh, almost due north, a little bit to the uh, west of north. I guess I'll photograph to allow you to get that exactly. Roger, bubble tangent to inner ring and almost due north.